Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Florian Yezibo. Today I want to just show you guys how to uh, fill up liquid nitrogen, which is a pretty common technique in general practice and in dermatological practices. So liquid nitrogen is used for different things, including uh, freezing of warts, cloids, whether it's uh, seborrheic uh, uh, keratosis, commonly used a lot by doctors. But sometimes the, the technique can be a little bit tricky. So today I want to show how we fill up the liquid nitrogen in the cartridge. Okay, so this is the cryo bottle and this is the cup. Okay, now so I'm, it's time to fill up uh, liquid type nitrogen. So I'm going to show the technique. In most clinics, you would have instructions on safety measures with filling up uh, liquid nitrogen because it's gas and it can be dangerous if it gets into certain parts of the body. One of them is wearing your goggles, wearing your gloves. And also, if you have any instructions on the wall, try and read the instructions so that you make sure you're keeping yourself safe. Generally, uh, it's not recommended to fill up the liquid nitrogen above, above the one third of the bottle. Okay, now, so got my goggles on. All right, now I have to unscrew this, uh, have to unscrew it. So I'll screw it. And then to fill it up, I'll first of all, Put this into the bottle. This one is doing this because there's already some liquid nitrogen here, but I'm just trying to demonstrate the technique. Okay, so I will need first of all put this in here under normal circumstances, and then you just uh, make sure you maintain your distance. You can hear it as it goes in. So normally. See? Okay. And then you take it out. Just close this quickly. And now you have to screw the top very, very tightly. So I put it on this table so that it helps to stabilize it as I screw. Just screw it very tightly until you have closed the bottle well. Once that is done, see? See? Liquid nitrogen starts to come out. So this is just the technique on how to fill up liquid nitrogen. I hope this helps someone. Alright, thank you for listening.